Hey there, Sandra Crow, Registered Holistic Nutritionist. Today, we're gonna make a decadent dessert. Yes, you're right, I'm a nutritionist and I said a decadent dessert. Because let's be honest, there's times in life when we it's a special occasion and we wanna have a nice dessert, or hey, maybe we just feel that we deserve a nice dessert that day. I have days like that. This is gonna be full of unsweetened coconut, dark chocolate, things that are good for us, that actually have health benefits. The thing with dessert is it's okay to have it from time to time, but we need to make sure that it's full of clean ingredients. That's gonna be really hard to find at the store. If you make it yourself, I generally say, go ahead, you can eat it then, because you know what's in it and you have control over what's in it. So let's get started on making these chocolate coconut bars. So into a food processor, we're gonna add one cup of unsweetened coconut. Really important that you use the unsweetened stuff. We're trying to avoid added sugars here. So one cup of unsweetened shredded coconut. Get it as fine a shred as you can. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. I just kind of always guess my half a teaspoons. Three and a half tablespoons of maple syrup, or you could also use uh, agave, you could use honey. So it kind of depends where you live. Luckily here in Canada, we have lots of tasty maple syrup. In fact, we're coming up to maple syrup time just about now. So three and a half tablespoons of maple syrup. That's our sweetener. We're gonna use just a pinch of salt. I always like to use sea salt. And we're gonna be adding some of the sea salt on top of our chocolate as well. So we've got that. and. And then we're adding our two tablespoons of coconut oil. So that's everything that's going into the base of the bar. And we're just going to give it a whir in our food processor until it's all blended up. Now that we've got it blended up, here comes the dirty, messy part, but also the fun part. We're going to form little patties with it with our hand, whatever size you like. So I like to form bite-sized pieces. So let's get messy. So now that we've made the patties to whatever size and shape we want, we need to firm them up. So we're gonna put them in the freezer for about an hour and come on back to add the coating. Okay, so it's been about an hour and my coconut bars are nice and solid and frozen in the freezer. So now I need to get to work on melting the chocolate. You can do this in the microwave, just make sure it doesn't burn, so kind of stop the microwave every 20 seconds or so and stir it, because it can burn really fast in the microwave. I'm gonna go old school and do it over some, I've got some water in this pot that's starting to boil, and I've got a glass bowl on top, so I'm just gonna go the slow way. I put in five of the large squares of lint 85% chocolate, 85% dark chocolate, but you could also use a third to a half a cup of chocolate chip it depends how much chocolate you want on top of the coconut. Do you want a thick layer or a thin layer? I've added a little bit of coconut oil, about a teaspoon of coconut oil, just to help when it melts, it's gonna get nice and silky smooth. Okay, this can be a bit tricky here because you don't want to uh, burn yourself. So you can either pour the chocolate on with a spoon and then just put it on the plate. It's okay if it drips off. Or if you wanna get your fingers a little messier, you can actually just dip it in. It is a little bit warm, just watch out. And then putting it on. So one by one, we're gonna coat our coconut in with the chocolate. Literally just like three or four grains on each one, just to give it that nice little decadent sweet and salty taste. You're gonna notice some weird shapes on my plate. I had leftover chocolate and heaven forbid, we don't want that to go to waste. So I sliced up a banana and dipped it in the chocolate. And then I'm gonna actually keep that in the freezer. The uh, coconut bars are gonna go in the fridge afterwards, but frozen banana with dark chocolate, mmm, delicious. Now that the chocolate is on the coconut squares and on the banana slices, I'm gonna put these back in the freezer just to let the chocolate solidify. Anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes is probably what it'll take, probably even less actually. Um, and then after that, you're just gonna store the chocolate coconut squares in the fridge or just start to eat them right away. And I would leave the frozen bananas in the freezer. I brought these treats to a potluck that I was at recently and I had several people ask for the recipe. They do hold up nicely outside of the fridge for a couple of hours. A lot of times when we're using coconut oil or natural sugars, things don't hold up out of the fridge for very long, they start to soften. 
But you know what? These didn't even last two hours. They disappeared really fast. So you don't need to worry about that, I don't think at all. Give them a try. Let me know how you, it went when you made them. And remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and to visit fitkitchendiva.com to subscribe to the weekly blog and get your three-day sugar-free challenge. Keep healthy.